Review, 2022 BMW i4 M50 marks a fast start for M's electric performance era. BMW began its push toward electrification with a pair of purpose-built cars on carbon fiber platforms, the i3 EV, with or without a gas engine range extender, and the plug-in hybrid i8. For the M Performance Division's first EV, the 2022 BMW i4 M50, the German brand takes a half-step back to a vehicle built for internal combustion engines, but now fitted with battery electric power. The result is a fun car that required limited investment dollars, but one that is also compromised. The BMW i4 M50 swaps out the gas engine of the 4 Series Grand Coupe for a dual-motor all-wheel drive electric powertrain. While it's not EV state-of-the-art, it's a compelling car that captures some BMW magic, with plenty of room for improvement. I could feel some of that BMW magic behind the wheel during my week with the i4 M50. The car's M-worthy power became immediately obvious. BMW outfits the i4 M50 with 255 horsepower front and 308 horsepower rear synchronous motors. They combine to make 469 horsepower and 538 lbft of torque while providing all-wheel drive. Engage the sport mode, and a boost function increases the output to 536 horsepower and 586 lbft of torque for more than 10 seconds at a time. In that mode, the i4 M50 will rocket from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and on to a 130 miles per hour top speed or 140 miles per hour with the high performance package, according to BMW. It's been even faster in magazine testing, hitting 3.3 seconds in the 0 to 60 miles per hour run for car and driver even quicker than the line topping M4. The M50's electric motors feel different than the fantastic twin turbo 3.0 liter inline 6 in the M4. It doesn't sound the angry howl of the M4's engine, opting instead for a digitally created spaceship worth that can be disabled. The power is more immediate than the horses that take a slight pause before they giddy up in one of the finest gas engines money can buy. The i4 M50's passing punch hits hard and fast with a mere flick of the right foot, pushing you past that slow-motion Camry before you can say, are you going anywhere? Drivers have a choice of brake regeneration modes in the i4. Shift to B mode, and you can mostly drive with one pedal, only activating the friction brakes when coming to a stop from higher speeds. B-Mode also helps for the on-off style of driving needed for a track or attacking a canyon road. I preferred it for neighborhood driving with many stops, but mostly opted for the default coasting function in drive because it just made the i4 seem like a normal BMW. Drivers can also dig into the iDrive screen to adjust the amount of Regan in drive. A hefty burden to overcome. Power in an electric M car is expected, but could the M team overcome the effects of weight due to a heavy battery pack? The i4 M50 uses a tweaked version of the brand's CLAR cluster architecture and comes cloaked in the same body as the gas-powered 4 Series Grand Coupe. CLAR is an advanced platform that uses aluminum, steel, and even carbon fiber to save weight, but it's not optimized for a battery electric vehicle, and those compromises show up in the i4 in both space and weight. The i4's 324-cell, 81.5-kilowatt-hour pack takes up 4.3 inches of space beneath the floor and lowers the car's center of gravity by 1.3 inches compared to a 3-series sedan. However, it adds considerable weight. The i4 M50 carries 5,018 pounds compared to 3,792 pounds for the gas-powered 430i Grand Coupe. BMW makes some changes from the ICE version of the chassis to help the car wear that weight well. Bolted to the floor and connected to the front subframe, the battery pack becomes a structural component. A standard rear air suspension on all i4s provides load leveling and counters any sag due to the battery's weight. Up front, an aluminum shear panel teams with the high-voltage battery housing to act as another structural element. The M50 model also gets adaptive M-dampers, specially tuned anti-roll bars, and a front strut tower brace. While the M50 model comes standard with staggered 19-inch wheels and tires, my tester had the high-performance package that adds 255-35 or 20 front and 285-30 or 20 rear Pirelli P0PZ4 Elec summer tires. That gave the car some pretty serious footwear to go with its serious power. The Backwoods Test I put those shoes to the test on the twistiest roads I could find outside of Milwaukee, where the i4 M50 outperformed its weight. 
The low set center of gravity limited the body lean like I'd expect from a sporty BMW rather than a 5,000 pounds car. The i4 reacted quickly to inputs from the quick, direct steering, which could use more feel, and was happy to change direction again and again. The Pirellis gripped well, and while the ride was firm it didn't pound over a large patch of broken pavement. BMO to slowed the car for corners but not enough, and the brakes felt natural and strong when I had to use the pads and calipers. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.